Today we're comparing Xcode build speeds on a large Xcode project. And we're comparing the new Apple M1 MacBook Air with the Apple Intel processor Core i9 with 64 gigs of RAM MacBook Pro from 2019. A really beefy machine against a mere 16 gigabyte RAM MacBook Air. And we're doing a large Xcode build project based on this project right here. This is thanks to Dev Yeremenka. It's called Xcode Benchmark. So this is the project that I found that delivers a very large build. You can download it yourself. You can try it out. And it takes a couple of minutes to run on both the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. I've already done the run, so I know what happens. The MacBook Air is actually going to win this one. So... If that's all you came here to see, then you can watch another video. So subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content, if you want more developer-oriented comparisons with the M1 chip. Otherwise, if you're curious to see the actual run, stay tuned. So what does this do? This, you run this in a terminal and it builds a really large project with over 42 Cocoa Pods that are most popular Cocoa Pods. Here we go, FAQ, what's inside? A framework that includes 42 popular Cocoa Pod libraries and 70 plus dependencies in total. Wow, that's a big project. So I went ahead and downloaded this repository and it's a zip file right here. I'm gonna unzip it, do the same thing on the MacBook Pro. So we're starting off with a clean slate, nothing pre-built. I'm going to quit all the other programs that I have running. Well, not all the other programs. I'm still going to be running my screen recorder so I can capture this. So I might get slightly different results based on how the screen recorder interferes. But I have everything else closed. Now let's open up the terminal on both of these. And I'm going to change directories into this one that was unzipped on my desktop. Same thing here. And there's a file in there called benchmark.sh. It's a shell script that actually just commands the Xcode tools to build this Xcode workspace. You can also open this up in Xcode and build it that way. However, that's not going to give you the report at the end like this shell script does. So let's go ahead and run the shell script, shbenchmark.sh. I'm going to get that set up and then I'm going to press enter at the same time on both of these machines so that we can see how long it takes. Ready? One, two, three. And they're off to the races. So it looks like MacBook Air is already winning. <laughs> We've seen this before because uh, the file system operation seems to be really, really fast on the MacBook M1. On the M1 processor, I should say, not only MacBook, because I did whip out the new Mac Mini just earlier today just to test it out and see what's going on with that. And I did a couple of comparison builds with the JavaScript project on the MacBook Mini with the MacBook Air. Both of them have the M1 chip, and I got very, very similar results. Now, I did run .NET test also, and the .NET test varied only slightly. I'll report on that in another video. So if you're not subscribed yet, do consider subscribing so you won't miss that and hit the little notification bell next to that subscribe button. Oh, listen to that. Do you hear that noise? I don't know if you can hear that. You know what? I am gonna lift my computer up to the microphone so you can hear. Here is the MacBook Air next to the microphone. Okay. And here's the MacBook Pro next to the microphone. Yeah, it's already done on the MacBook Air and you can see how long it took, less than two minutes or maybe just over two minutes. Yeah, what am I doing? Two minutes and about 12 seconds on that one. This one is still kicking away and it's very hot. I mean, it's hot, it's hot to the touch. This one is warm, it's not cold, but it's warm. This one is hot. Like I can barely hold my hand on there and it's making a lot of noise. This is pretty crazy, but uh, it's still working. The MacBook Pro is still kicking away, still trying to finish this build. This one is just sitting there all nice and cool, waiting because it's done with its job. Oh man, how long is this gonna take? Well, I kind of know how long it's gonna take. About four minutes. So about two times longer than the MacBook Air. A MacBook Pro with 64 gigs of RAM and an i9 processor. <sighs> wow. So right now it's telling me that it took four minutes 
and uh, what is that 17 seconds almost two times longer than the macbook air with the m1 chip four times the amount of ram on this one i don't know the gigahertz comparison over here but this one has i9 processor with intel this one has the m1 chip so take from this what you will but uh, if you're doing an xcode build clearly the macbook air is a hands down winner here by the way i realize that not everybody's working with all the latest hardware and I have the 2015 MacBook Pro here. I've always loved this machine. The 2015 builds were so great. So if anybody wants to see me build something on the 2015 machine, let me know down in the comments below. There you go, folks. So that settles it. The MacBook Air wins this one with the M1 chip. And if you like this kind of video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And I'd appreciate a like if you did enjoy this or found it educational or at least entertaining. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.